We're outside of Gideon's here at uh, World of Disney, Disney, Disney Springs, and we're in line. We did the virtual queue, and we're gonna get some cookies. You want some cookies? Cookies. These are like really amazing cookies. I'll show you what they look like when we get them. These cookies come from Gideon's at Downtown Disney Springs. These cookies are $6 a piece. We had to get ourselves in a virtual queue. And when we did that, the lady said, yeah, come back in uh, two hours and 15 minutes. We'll text you. And I was like, okay, well, good thing we set this up before we had a chance because we actually had to log that in before we went to eat. So, anywho, we uh, got the text after we ate and did a little bit of shopping. Went back and picked these up and we've seen videos on these cookies. They're prettier in person. They're way prettier than they are in a, in a photo or a video that we've seen online. Um, they are a half pound a piece. It is recommended not to eat these in one sitting because because they will, it will be a lot. It'll be too much. Um, but just look at the size of my hand versus the size of this cookie. I mean, it's the size of my hand. That's just, it's tremendous. The store is really cool. It's got Harry Potter looking type decorations in the place. Really nice. And we also got some chocolates from a place called the Ganashri. Uh, very elegant chocolates. Uh, we picked out, they're handmade. We picked out some little uh, samples of different kinds. Oh, wow. Not samples, but you know, different flavors. Um, they also had a Millennium Falcon pop that I passed on because I felt like the cost of it was more for decoration than it was for actually what you're getting. Um, but these are all flavored, different flavors. I think it was some kind of special if you bought six of them and got them for a cheaper price. So we bought six. Because why not? You know, we're in the room for the week, so. Aren't they pretty? Aw, it's so pretty. Alright, let's dig in. Alright, I'm going to try the chocolate orange. It's got the pretty decoration on it. Isn't that pretty? That's what it is right there. Oh, wow. Dark chocolate with fresh orange flavoring, Florida oranges. Delicious. Mmm. <clears throat> I tried a taste of this. Raspberry and dark chocolate. I got a little piece of paper from them too. Tells me what all the, all the flavors are from the Ganeshery. Ganachery. Ganachery. It says, uh, it's got some word I can't read. Some kind of raspberries with dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. I'm always a big fan of a dark chocolate because it's kind of bitter with a raspberry because it, it's a weird, twangy kind of fruit. Mmm. Mm -mm. That's real good. That one's way better than that one. Which one do you think is better? That sea salt one? No, that is um caramel. Okay. Which one is this one? The vanilla? Mm -hmm. Or coconut? Vanilla. Vanilla? You're not going to be eating cookies if you keep eating that. 
Yeah, try it, you know, for science. Whoa. You hurt your finger, did you? Yeah, the vanilla one's not as good. Mm -mm. She just cut this cookie. Let me show you what the inside of this looks like. This is very heavy, by the way. Look at the inside of that. Whoa. That's a lot. Too many chocolate chips. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I mean, you get a pistachio nut with it, though, because they're salty. Yeah. Good? Mmm-hmm. Let me cut one of the cookies. All right, so I cut open the chocolate chip one. Look at the layers of chocolate chips. Can you guys see that? Whew, here we go. I just cut a small piece. Wow. They're good. That's what I love like cookies with. Hmm? They're good, but it's almost like... Too much. Cookie dough. I like that. It's I like cookie too dough. Much. I like a cookie dough. Mm. I don't know if I could eat a lot of this, though. You couldn't eat very much at all. I mean... You could only eat, like... I mean... That's a lot. I could have... Oh, a tiny little piece. Wow. It's almost like they're not even baked, though. Yeah. They probably have to be that way in order for this stuff to stick on it. I bet they put it together as cookie dough. It's probably one of those cold bake. Not cold bake, but you know how they sell cookies that are called cold bake cookies? Does that make any sense? You know what I'm talking about, guys, right? You're watching the video? Where it's like, it looks like cookie dough, then you form them into cookies, and you put them in a the fridge, and it's supposed to, somehow, I don't know, it makes, makes a cookie. That's kind of what this tastes like. But it almost has to be that way, I think, and for all this stuff to, to stick to it. To it. Yeah. Because it's like it's not even been baked. Yeah. It was not what I was expecting. That's a lot. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous about cutting into the other ones. I, mean, I do want to try them, but I'm nervous. In the sense that it's a lot. Oh. You, want, you want to try one of my chocolate chip? Mm -mm. They'll keep. Yeah. But. I almost want something different just to have a, I don't know. Don't, don't eat too much of it. Gideon's, you guys make a good cookie, but it's almost too much. I mean, granted, we don't have any milk to eat. This, hey, milk would be good with this. Yeah, but. But then I'd be sitting down holding my belly going, why did I eat all that? Ah. I was expecting a cookie. It's in a cookie shape. It's in a cookie shape. But it's more like uncooked cookie. Yeah. Yeah. There's a crunchy to it. I don't know. If you're yeah, watching this video and I got food poisoning, this is it. It's not for my dinner at Wine Bar George's. I do want to cut open the the triple chocolate and the cookies and cream and just see a comparison, but I'm just gonna get a little tiny. I kind of want to wrap this back up and not eat any more of this. No, one. I wouldn't eat any more of that one. I'm doing like this this time. See? Oh, geez, no, it's nothing but dough. Well, show me. Cut off a little. Well, I'm going to say cut me a piece so I can show the viewers. It's almost like it has to be eaten like 
little small pieces like this at a time. So, yeah, the inside looks like cookie dough. The outside looks like it's been rolled around in cookies and cream. It tastes and good. It tastes like Oreo cookies and raw cookie dough. Yeah. Eat them in small, small slivers. Yeah. Like if you buy some, I mentioned they were a half pound a piece. These like, four cookies could last you for weeks. Yeah. Do you want to try a little bit of this? Actually, I did. If you can get some with a nut in it. Mm -hmm, right here. I'm, I've never, I've never actually had a cookie with pistachio in it before, but my wife it's got good. this pistachio nut chocolate chip cookie. But no, it's, it's um. Pistachio toffee. 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 The nut does make it better. Mm -hmm. I love pistachios. And there is a crunch of the toffee. But it, is, it does taste like raw cookie dough. It's just too much chocolate. For me. Can you help me cut this one? There's a small piece off of that one. Mm -hmm. This one's called triple chocolate. So no, that's at home if you're taking if you're doing the math, that's triple the chocolate. Whew. Well, that just looks chocolatey. <laughs> it's just it's just chocolate on the inside, chocolate on the outside, chocolate everywhere. That's chocolate. Wow. gonna have to say I wish there was kids here so we go here you eat some yeah I'm gonna have to say of what we've got here the ganachery was way the better the was way better and cheaper because I wasn't expecting cookie dough yeah I was expecting I wish I had milk instead of water <laughs> I was expecting baked cookies with you know just a lot of topping but that's not what we got yeah I can't eat anymore. <clears throat> Dinner at Wine Bar George's was fantastic. I don't know if I talked about that. We had uh, some meatballs with polenta, which fantastic is like a really fine grit. Have you ever had grits? Very, very, very fine version of that with some seasoning. The meatballs were seasoned really good. Um, they come out as kind of like shareable... Looks like tapas. Tapas, almost. This is the cheese on fire. They actually came out here and set it on fire. It had three meatballs. So we had a meatball and a half and some polenta. <clears throat> and then we had a pork dish. That on their menu says comes with potatoes, but it actually doesn't anymore. Now it comes with um, a roasted Brussels sprout that was shredded and some shredded radish. Um, it was shredded to the point that the Brussels sprouts looked like lettuce and the shredded radish you could see through. It was shredded so fine. But it was on a vinaigrette underneath it that was really delicious. Um, <clears throat> and then we had... Some kind of cheese on fire. I'm sure you guys could YouTube Lion Bar George cheese on fire, and there's videos of that. I didn't expect him to do it at our table. Um, otherwise, I would have had my camera ready because it was really cool. He walked over with this tray, and it was like an iron skillet on one side that was squarish, and you could see the cheese in it. And he's like, oh, I got the cheese on fire. All right, hang on a second. Let me just set it on fire. And he pours this little dish of, I guess, oil or butter or something in there, and then lit it. And it flamed, and then he took some uh, or, uh, uh, a lemon, half of a lemon, and he squeezed the lemon juice on it to put the fire out. And I was thinking, lemon with cheese and butter? and How's that going to taste? But it was served with this toasted cracker type thing that was really delicious. So, um... We got to try this one. We ate those, and it was really fantastic. I bet you that's the best one you've had. This is the... The caramel. Caramel. Mm -hmm. Salted caramel. This one is... 
Yeah. That is delicious. This one is called... Um, That's good. My raspberry is better. Really? Yep. Yeah. That one but was called... I can't called, give you a taste of that because yeah. I've already eaten it. That one was called... Um, Salted caramel. That's yeah, but said. it's called something. That's it right there. He said it was salted caramel. It is. It says it's rich, creamy caramel and sea salt with milk chocolate. That was delicious. I like dark chocolate better. So, there's that. And that's why I like the raspberry better. We eat a raspberry dish one time on a cruise. And I asked the guy, I said, do you have anything with raspberries I could put this with? And he was like, what? I was like, it'd be really great if we had some raspberries. And he was like, are you a chef? And I was like, just a fat guy. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't, I don't have that right now. I was like, okay. Just figure out how to ask. I don't know unless you ask, right? So anyway, that's it. We're going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, everybody.